Hi, Tip. Dre here. Listen, how y'all like my 01, what do you call it? Cadillac Reveal. It's got the uh, 4.6 North Star. Got dry rider tires that need to be replaced. Now I know why I ride so rough. It's got a brand new tire on that side. Brand new Goodyear. Anywho, I bought this car from the auction November the 2nd, 2017. I bought the car for $375. It was running, it would bag up, but it wouldn't go forward. So why did I buy a 2001 Cadillac with a North Star? The engine that people claim runs hot, uh, blows head gaskets. Uh, transmission bad, all kind of stuff. So why did I buy this car? Because I wanted it. That's why I bought it. Uh, I sometimes believe that people have problems with their cars because they don't take care of them. I'm the kind of person, I take care of my stuff. I run my stuff hard, but I take care of it. I don't let it run hot. I don't let it run low in oil. I don't let it run low in water. I take care of my stuff. I put decent gas in it. Is it going to get 93 octane? Why hell no. If it really, really needed it, I would. But it really, really don't. So I won't. Uh, so what I plan to do with it? Just drive it. By the way, I'm especially going to drive it. I went 86 miles yesterday. Filled it back up. It took 3.29 gallons. To get it back to full. That adds up to about 26 miles to the gallon. Now, I plan to drive it again, go a little bit further, more like, I don't know, 100 miles, 115, something like that, and do the fuel economy again because I kind of don't believe this thing is getting 26 miles to the gallon. But then again, maybe it is. It only weighs 3,960 pounds. Yep, that's right. A front wheel drive Cadillac with the big V8 and only weighs 3,960 pounds. As a matter of fact, I think the 2010 V6 Camaro might have weighed more. I'm not sure, but I think it did. Anywho, all right, this is a story to this car. When I first got it from the auction, I had rented a uh, trailer it to my company. That's where I am now. My company. We're in the back. No, we don't have. My company is over there. But I figured y'all ain't never seen the pipes. This is the company next door. Anywho, I've worked this company 11 years, and I cannot tell you the name of this company. Then next door. Anywho, I bought a battery from Walmart. One of those $49 remanufactured batteries. Uh, that was in November. December, January, we're working on February. It's three months, $50. Hey man, what, what, can, what can I say? Is it gonna last a year? Probably will. All right, um, I went to put, uh, pull apart. I bought a used tire and wheel because it had a tire that was cut. I didn't want to leave it in the office parking lot with a flat tire. You know, I'm already black, so I don't need to have raggly cars at my company. At least I could have it aired up, correct? All right, I then took it to a transmission place, got the transmission rebuilt. Y'all ready for this? $2,850 to get the transmission rebuilt. But it runs pretty good. I mean, I think it's worth the money, <clears throat> even though the previous owner spilled washing powder in the trunk. The whole car smells like game, stinks. I mean, I like the smell of game, when you're washing clothes, I don't want to smell it no other time. It's sort of kind of like, never mind, I, I said I was going to keep sex out of my video. At least the videos on Black Air be nice. I also got another channel, F165. If you want to see some freaky stuff, you want to hear some freaky stuff, check that channel out. Get back to this car. I cleaned it out. I think the guy was living in the car. If he wasn't living in the car, he at least kept trash in the car.
there was a container of a large Tupperware of water. I think the guy was living in this car. Anywho, I cleaned all the trash out. Took a while too. Five or six 13 gallon kitchen bags to get the trash out of the, the car. Okay, after getting it, I took it to North, North, what is it? North Cross Transmission in North Cross, Georgia. Um, 2850, right? Them fools locked the keys in the car. They locked the key in the car. This car, when you crank it up, put it in drive, it locks the door. I ain't gonna tell you what I call it, cause again, I said I was gonna keep racism off black air be nice. Anywho, <clears throat> it locks the doors. So I, apparently they was pushing the car in with the door open. And like I said, when they crunk it up, put it in dry, they locked the door, they closed the door and locked the keys up. Now, a legitimate, I mean, not a, cause they are a legitimate shop, but I'm saying a decent shop, if they couldn't get in the car without damaging it, they would have called a locksmith, paid the 150, I don't know what they charge, 150, I guess, I don't know, to unlock the door. As soon as I bought the car, as soon as I bought the car, I bought an extra key. I don't like locking up cars. I don't like paying locksmith $150. I don't like breaking glass to get into my car. I don't like doing that. Anywho, they messed up the door. I'm gonna show y'all where they messed up the door. I don't know if you can see this. That, that, and that was not there. This dent was not there. This part of the door was cocked up a little bit. I mean, they did all that to get into this car. They scratched that right there to get into the car. They, well, this was, I guess the guy glued it. Well, I guess if it, this was loose, this part right here was kind of hanging down. You can still see where this part is damaged right here. Scratches here, scratches there. When they broke into my car. On top of that, they messed up the window regulator. They messed up the window regulator and did not tell me. They actually told a lie that the car was like that when I bought it to them. But luckily I have YouTube videos showing me with the windows down and uh, I don't have a problem letting the windows down no more. Had to take it to another shop, a Napa Auto Care Center, and pay $612. Yeah, I know they overcharged me, but I'm not paying for it. North Cross Transmission is going to pay for it. And if they don't pay for it, I'm taking them to court. I think I got a good case. I think I can win. All right, now, after getting the transmission rebuilt, oh, before I, bought, before I got the transmission rebuilt, I put a brand new tire on the right front because the tire I got from Pull Apart had a different rim, and I wanted the rim to match. So I bought a brand new tire, put it on the right front. Like I said, this tire is dry rider, so I'm gonna get a new tire put here also. Uh, the previous owner, the left rear tire is a 215 The car comes with 225 This tire is a 235 uh, Again, I gotta keep racing this out of my videos, but I'm gonna say broke people, listen to the words now, Broke people always have Mitch Matt tires. Did I pronounce that right? Miss Mitch, God, dog it. Miss Match tires on their car. They always, especially if it's a BMW or Mercedes. Anywho, what else I did to it? That's all I can think of right now. Oh, I ordered some brake pads and rotors because it, it shimmies when you put on brakes can't have a car like that. Also, cheap brake pads. You can't tell, but the wheels are kind of dirty. They still, I mean, they cleaner, but they was dirtier. They was actually brown when I bought the car. Cheap brake pads. Probably them $20 AutoZone brake pads. Even though this car is 3,960 pounds, you cannot put $20 brake pads on your car. Where have I heard that from? Anywho, I also ordered some struts with the springs already put on off eBay. Um, it needs struts on the back, on the front, real bad. The back 
seems okay. Hey, how about this? The air suspension still works. Every once in a while I crank the car up, I hear the pump compressor going. Don't go all the time. But uh, I, I mean, I'm surprised. A 2001 Cadillac and the air suspension still works. How does the engine run? It runs pretty good. Uh, when I first drove it, I smelled a lot of burning oil, but it seemed like that has subsided. It seemed like it's gotten a little bit better. Oh, it passed the mission on the first try. Yep, that's right. Yesterday I took it to get the mission test, it passed. Also put a new gas cap. I did a video on that. I have a video on YouTube showing people how to tell when their gas cap is bad. Keep you guys from having to look for it. <clears throat> if you open up a gas cap and you see brown, I mean black stuff like that, the gas cap is leaking, y'all. Now this is a brand new gas cap. And you can tell because the rubber is not cracked up. The one that came off, the rubber, the rubber wasn't cracked up. It was just flattened completely, completely out. Also, I told some people that you can probably clean this off with WD-40. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. I did try brake cleaning. It didn't do nothing. This clean part right here, my neighbor put some Gojo. Gojo hand clean on that. Came out pretty good, don't you think? <clears throat> But um, that's the reason why I looking all dirty like that. The guy, it had the original gas cap. It was still hooked to that right, wire right there. All right, what else I got to do to it? Can't think of it right now. I did vacuum it out. Let me show you all the interior. I vacuumed it out and it looks a lot better. The person who owned this car was a freaking pig. I mean, he was extremely nasty. That black stuff is mildew. That's where the guy had the Tupperware of water. All that right there is dirt. I mean, it just, people really pissed me off. This is the reason I hate used cars, especially when they're owned by broke people. Broke people don't like to vacuum out the car. <clears throat> they smoke, they drop cigarette, and they burn the interior. Extremely nasty people. Look at that stuff. Look at that stuff right there. And I gotta clean that off. That's gross. I mean, that's extremely gross. Anyway, the car sound pretty good. Suck so quiet, you can't even hear. But I gotta go to dinner. But before I go to dinner, I had said that I was gonna do a burnout it does spin I keep forgetting to cut the traction control off Enjoy my video. Bye. You got my damn camera. Bye.